In 1555, John Rogers, Bible translator and Protestant preacher, was being led to the stake. He was asked once more if he would recant. He replied, What I have preached, I will seal with my blood. So they walked on as Rogers sang psalms and praised to God. He was soon met by his wife and eleven children. One, just an infant in her arms. This sad sight did not move him, but he cheerfully and patiently went on his way to Smithfield, where he was burned to ashes in the presence of a great number of people. John Rogers was the first of over 290 executed during the reign of Queen Mary. An angry crowd is cheering as a man is being led to the stake where he'll be bound and burned until he's finally dead. He sees where they are taking him, yet his mind is made up still. He knows this is the only fire he'll ever have to fear. His mind goes back to why he has to pay this awful price. Someone had given him a Bible, he had given God his life. He believed its words, rejecting all the evil church's lies. And it was for his love of that great book, he was going to burn alive. So why can't we stand up for what they died for? Their dream we take for granted every day. This world is lost without the gospel message. Let's stay true to this book as it leads the way. Man's wife stands in silence as his hands are being tied. His life would soon be taken right before her very eyes. Oh, but suddenly her faith grows strong. She's ready now to die. So she cries as they begin the fire. If he goes, so will I. I can see the wicked council as they watch those dying men. This Christian faith cannot last long with such cruel torment. But the executioners found out there was nothing they could do. You see, the more they persecuted, the more the number grew. For the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. In this world we're living in, God's word is second choice. Other books and commentaries seem to have a stronger voice. We must realize God's not finished with his precious written word. So it's up to you and I to make sure that his voice is heard. So why can't we stand up for what they died for? Their dream we take for granted every day. This world is lost without the gospel message. Let's stay true to this book as it leads the way. Let's stay true to this book. 
as it leads the way.